Welcome to Company Showcase, an advertising feature on HowStreet.com. I'm Jim Goddard. We're chatting with Larry Ray, President and CEO of American Manganese. Welcome back, Larry. Well, thanks, Jim. It's uh, been an exciting day for me. I understand you have something new for us in your news release that came out around November 10th. Yes, uh, we do, and uh, it uh, certainly caught the attention out there of the market. Uh, we've traded uh, about within all the markets, including the uh, various platforms, about 23 million shares today, uh, which is a record for us, uh, which is almost double our record, right? And uh, the price uh, moved up uh, almost 50 percent, and uh, so it's uh, it's an exciting day in here, and uh, I have to tell you, uh, you know that. Uh, our proof of concept, that's the release that went out, has now been successfully completed. And uh, so the market uh, market loved that news, and uh, they ate it up. And uh, you can tell by the action in the market, I think we were the biggest trader by far the day in, uh, on the uh, venture exchange. But I'd just like to point out a few things. Uh, ever since we started this recycling program, we've uh, traded... Uh, roughly 205 million shares in uh, just slightly over three months. So uh, that's uh, that's been uh, a busy time for us. And uh, it uh, tells you that we have a, a lot of uh, uh, flippers in the market, of course, uh, because uh, the stock has uh, actually moved uh, from in the last six months from about one and a half cents up to... Uh, 26 and a half today, but, uh, you know, at that time of volume, you'd think the price would be higher, but we do have flippers and predators in the market, and uh, they account for a lot of the volatility. So, uh, but, uh, you know, we're, we're getting there. We're moving up. I can see that uh, we're getting a di- different type of investor in now, uh, more to do with the uh, green technology sector than uh, perhaps, you, as you see, the mining sector. And uh, a lot of these people uh, will take positions and uh, will hold them because they can see value. And uh, it's uh, it, it's a real transition period for the company. And uh, we're to say, to say that uh, it has the phones haven't been ringing here today would be an understatement. Now, as we move along the way here, we've got other uh, events that are going to be coming up, and uh, we uh, will be announcing a program, which I don't want to go into any detail on right now, that's going to cost, uh, you know, roughly about a million dollars over the next year, and uh, I'll elaborate on that uh, in in the upcoming release. so I, but I don't want to you know talk about things that, uh, that could be considered uh, um, releasable or, or uh, material events and uh, so the uh, it's going to be a busy time for the company uh, we uh, are getting interest from uh, you know different groups and everything else that are interested in our technology uh, as you know, in our pre- last press release, we talked about presenting at the uh, NatBat, uh, which is a very prestigious conference in Ann Arbor. And uh, there will be a lot of companies there that will be uh, interested in our, certainly in our project, because recycling is a big part of the NatBat Association, and especially with the Amine batteries. So... Uh, we're looking forward to uh, that on November the 30th. When we go down there, we'll be taking the Cometco group, uh, at least the president and uh, chief operating officer, who's a battery expert, and uh, they will actually make the presentation. And uh, because it's going to be, you know, talking to a lot of their peers down there. So I'm looking forward to that. And then uh, I got other things that are coming up that. Uh, you know, may be able to be talked about next week. So uh, I can't talk about them now, but uh, it, it's uh, it's an interesting uh, 
program that we've got going here, and uh, you know, it's uh, certainly exceeded my wildest wildest expectations uh, on the uh, turnaround that we saw in the market, and uh, you know, we've flipped uh, well over uh, one and a half times our entire float now, and uh, you know, it's uh, that that brings a lot of attention to the company. A lot of it uh, is unwanted attention, but uh, a lot of it is good attention as we gradually move from uh, weaker hands to stronger hands in the uh, market. And I can see that developing. Uh, there's uh, going to have a diff- totally different looking shareholder base except for a lot of our uh, very loyal uh, shareholders that have been with the company for a long time. But uh, for a lot of the recent uh, shareholders who uh, are in profits, um, you know, they may uh, they may be gone now, but they're being replaced by a different type of shareholders. So uh, it's uh, it's an interesting time for the company and uh, a great transition. Larry Forbes is reporting Chinese electric car sales are up 162 percent in the first half of the year. How does that relate to American manganese? All that's great news for American manganese, uh, especially if you're talking about lithium-ion EV cars. And at least half of those would be lithium-ion EV cars, and uh, that's going to mean a lot more spent batteries coming out. They're talking about millions of spent batteries in, uh, in uh, 2025. Certainly could be close to a million by uh, 2020. That's a staggering amount of batteries to recycle. And uh, you can't just keep burning them in a smelter and losing uh, most of the metal. Uh, you know, the only thing you get back in a smelter is some of the cobalt. And uh, so, uh, you know, and that's the other thing I've read uh, about talk- people talking about recycling. They uh, they keep talking about only the lithium component of it. They, uh, for some reason, ignore the fact that there's about twelve or fifteen hundred dollars worth of cobalt in a uh, Tesla. S battery, and uh, then you've got nickel, which is uh, been moving up nicely lately, uh, which has an extra great value on it. And uh, you know, for the uh, aluminum and uh, and uh, manganese that's involved, uh, which should be you know somewhere similar to the cobalt in a nickel, say for example, a nickel uh, manganese cobalt battery, uh, then uh, you get some great values out there aside from the lithium. And, you know, we, uh, we're trying to, we want to capitalize on that. We want to, uh, end up with a process that, uh, where we can reclaim, uh, up to 100% of the, uh, material, uh, the cathode material. And, uh, the more back car- EV cars that are built, the more that are going to reach the end of life sometime in the future. And, uh, as you know, it's uh, these things are not just a spin on a dime to get a recycling plant or any other kind of plant up and running. There's still uh, lots of test work to be done and uh, fine tuning and uh, eventually pilot plant testing and commercially, you know, producing some commercial product. And uh, you know, I think our timing could be just perfect for entering the field. Larry, thanks for this update on November 10th. Okay, thanks, Jim, and uh, appreciate the uh, chance to uh, talk about the company. We've been chatting with Larry Ray, President and CEO of American Manganese. I'm Jim Goddard. Comments made on Company Showcase are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any manner whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Archived online at HowStreet.com. Company Showcase is a production of How Street Media Incorporated.